On the Kent coast, Mike Thompson has dedicated the last five years to working tirelessly to turn derelict dwellings into habitable houses. Good morning to you. Today, Mike's visiting a bungalow which has been reported to be in a bad state with overgrown gardens that could be harboring foxes. Wow, just look at that. Typical advert for an empty property. Quite frankly, an advert saying, come and break in. He's here to assess the damage and get to the bottom of who owns it. We've got condensation at the windows, heavy condensation in there. You can see that's causing black mould, the formation of black mould internally. That's doing the inside no good at all. We've probably got water on the sills in there. If they're timber, they'll be rotting as well on the inside as well as the outside. It's just bad news all round. I always like to look through the letterbox. That usually tells me quite a bit. No signs of uh, conventional habitation there. It can't stay like this. Mike calls upon the next door neighbour to see if they know anything about the owner. Do you know anything about the ownership next door at all? Well, uh, I knew the lady that had it, and then when she died, it was handed over to a relative, so... Don't see anything of them, or hardly ever at all? Uh, he, once in a blue moon. Any chance we could have a look at the back garden through yes. your property, Kevin? Yeah. Thanks very much indeed. OK. I'll hold the steps. Thanks very much, Kevin. That's atrocious at the back, isn't it? I thought the front was bad enough. No, it's in a terrible condition. Quite easy to see that that could actually harbour vermin. Uh, and I'm not surprised, actually, if foxes are using it. And if they can actually get underneath anything, they could easily have their den in the garden there. I mean, the front, together with this rear, we can't allow a situation like this to continue. Back at Council HQ, Mike's on a mission to find out more. He puts in a call to the council tax department to see if they can give him any clues. I want to find out some information about uh, council taxpayer for property in Broadstairs. Paid in full, but liable at the address. Ah, OK. We've got a bill payer, the resident at the address, so we know they're not living at the address. But at least I've got a name now, I've got an initial, so I think that gives me something to go on. Now Mike has some information on the bill payer, he's hoping the land registry will reveal the owner. We now have potentially an owner's name and a responsible person. So I think if I can't get what I want from the probate registry, I can certainly employ a tracing agent to get down to finding out where that person lives. But now we've made a start, we won't let go. If the owner needs any help to bring that property back into use, we will offer it. And we will do all we can to bring that back into decent family accommodation, which is what it should be, rather than the empty property detracting from the area and spoiling the amenities for all those people that live near it. Mike has since tracked down the owner, who's improving the property and is now living there. 